ericmothethmother.com. Let's take a look at EEM's weekly chart. And here we have a two-year weekly. And I'm going to be taking a look at this move here on hindsight. We can study this move. And we're going to be taking a look at the MACD. D. All right, so this is going to be a short video, of course. If you want more information, you can take a look at the following playlists, which are my playlists. All right, how to use the MACDs. So let's take a look at the chart example, and we can take a look at the first MACD. Keep in mind, on my charts, I use two MACD settings. And here we can see a good example of why I say wait for the MACD to clear a recent high. Which is what happens here during the slows. Also, take note of the fact that we go above the MACD zero line, which is the lows of early 2017. And we held above the MACD zero line until sometime in March or February of 2018. So you can see the MACD line moves above zero, which is this entry. You can hold on until it moves back below zero, which is here, which would be this level. Right? Ultimately, you still have a huge gain. Now, if you take a look at the other MACD, you can see how it bounced nicely around the MACD zero line. And that corresponds with the lows there. And of course, after that bounce, the MACD was suggesting that it was refusing to drop below the zero line of the MACD, corresponding with this recovery. And of course, we saw a big uptick in prices over about a period of one year. All right, that's a summary, a quick look at how to use the MACD. For more information, take a look at the playlist, which I mentioned previously that are part of my playlist and educational videos. Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo!